Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, we're going to be talking about Drew and her getting rid of Fatum. And that was Candace's best buddy uh, that she got a chance to connect with. And now Drew done got her ass off the show. Now, Drew, I thought you was a rider. I thought you could handle yourself. Didn't know you had to go and tell the powers that be that either she go or you go okay meaning for tomb and i'm like drew baby what if they would have said okay um clear out your desk or your products that you have and, and we'll keep it moving <laughs> okay but evidently they sided with you because for tomb did do something crazy it was something about your pocketbook being left from wherever you were sitting or standing and she went and got your pocketbook thinking she's gonna play a joke about you know, where's, you know, when she comes back and find that her pocketbook was gone from where she left it, she got to go looking all the way around the house for it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Fatum, nah, you shouldn't have did that, baby. And that pretty much ended her stay on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's not a friend anymore. Uh, the powers be said, no, she shouldn't have done that. Because, you know, it could have gotten a, a little crazy. Like, what if something had become missing uh, from you know her purse or whatever and drew just went up there from uh, from what i'm hearing allegedly and told the people either she go or i go but i don't feel comfortable with her on the show she's like a little stalker she's going up pulling um my address and all my personal information and you know that's just not right and so evidently fatoon really wasn't paying attention or they didn't give her enough insight to say these are the do's, these are the don'ts, okay? But honey, Fatum gave us something, something to listen to. So, let's, why don't we just see what we can hear from Candace speak on it, on what was actually going on, okay? From Fatum's voice. Jelani, can we all go and have a good time? What are the people that are with Kenya gonna do? Uh, whatever they wanna do. They fine, they wanna but be But I wanna go with Jemani. Let's but go. I'm not riding the car with this bitch. One of the funny thing, and I'm gonna get you to that. But one of the funny thing that Margo kept saying, "Get out of the car. I paid for it." If you don't stay at the house that I didn't pay for, yeah. that's on me. And and Kenny was like, "Production paid for it." I'm yeah. not. Going. She was like, "I'm not going nowhere. You didn't pay for nothing." Bitch. She didn't. You know, she did all of this. She didn't pay for it. But but like I said, I was really trying my best to come both of them down and be at peace. True. Every chance she gets, bitch, 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 bitch. I'm like, but I'm not riding the car with this bitch. Well, what I will say was, uh -huh. you came in cool and calm. You right. wasn't really saying anything I to wasn't her really at all. Nothing. You didn't say anything to her whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then Marlo was, you know, explaining like she wanted you guys to support her, you know. And Drew was like, well, we are here to support you. And she was like, well, get in the car with me. Mm -hmm. And go and let's go. Mm -hmm. And Drew was like, "Well, I'll get in the car with you, but I'm not getting in the car with this bitch." Out of the blue. Oh, come on, let's but go. I'm not riding the car with this bitch. She hadn't even said anything to her at that point, <laughs> and it was so funny because it was like you had a delayed reaction almost. Because I didn't hear her. I was so no. Because I had to ask Sheree. I'm like, is she? Did she just call me this? I told Sheree yeah. was sitting next to me. Oh. Shit. Because I was exhausted from like these two fighting yeah. for two hours, so I'm keeping my conscience like maybe I should just drive back home. And then she, and then she said what she said. Oh, shit. did she just do this? Oh, listen so to what? me. Cause do not come for me. What the? 
fuck is wrong with you? She said, yeah, she did. You a lap dog. Yeah, yeah then she started calling and you a lap dog. she started calling me a lap dog. You came to be Sheree's lap dog, hey. bitch. Hey. That time, I think I just zoned out. No, no, no. Hey. You showed Sheree doesn't have a lap dog. I came here. Go pee in a bush. And so it was like the whole back and forth with you guys began. She's your lap dog. She's not my lap dog. I don't have a lap dog. She, she, she's your lap dog. I was like, man, we finna go on a walk. Do we want to go look at the lake? It's a beer, I think it's that's a good. It's very beautiful. You want to go beautiful. take pictures? Let's go. Mangetta and I, we decided to go on a walk. And then the next thing I know, a bit, few things, bit by bit, everybody started walking down with us. It was like the best decision to break everything away because <laughs> the, the problem with True is she will say, and I don't know if you, if you guys had the same experience. I know all of you had like a problem with her. She will attack and then just... Run. I'm like, she, I'm, when I say run, like, run faster than Sonia. Like, <laughs> But I'm channeling Sonia right now, honey. I got the Olympic gold in my blood, honey. I'm like, who is the Olympian here? Because you run fast. You know, it's like, shoot, security, security. I'm like, why do you keep calling? You know, like, if you get a call security, you remember she did that a few times. Oh, like, like, every time she comes at me, that's what she did in the whole, like, that whole night. She will come to me and, and, and aggravate me and attack me. And then when I'm like, you know, like, react. react, security, security, and the security is like on my ass. I'm like, dude, you got the wrong person. <laughs> you know, like, I've never had criminal. You can check my shit. I've never had more than one ticket, speeding ticket. You know what I mean? I've never hit anybody in my life. I've never... You know what I mean? But I totally, I just felt so bad because I felt like, I, I, I know they were trying to, you know, if, if like you call me and I'm like this, it doesn't mean I'm gonna hit you. I'm actually, even my kids are not scared of me. You know what I mean? This is the first time anybody. Okay, so y'all heard that part about Drew totally saying bitch, 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 bitch. You know, like, okay, we got the security guard. If anybody saw that episode that aired last, uh, well, this past Sunday, security was holding everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, Drew gonna run her mouth, run her mouth, run her mouth because the guy or the one of the cameramen or maybe one of the bodyguards, they had her secured. She wasn't going nowhere. Same with Fatoum. But Fatoum looked like she was about that business. Like, no, leave me alone. I'm not going to do nothing to her. But I'm going to just, you know, get in her face and see, you know, what's going on. You know, are you about that life? <laughs> and then Fatoum said, hell, I ain't never uh, barely five feet on a good day. I'm like, yeah, you more like four, eight. Okay, baby. But she had said something about she went up to the car and tried to scare Drew and um, Drew jumped or something. And um, I don't know, but I really want y'all to hear the part where she was saying Drew complained on her. And to that's pretty much had costed her chance on surviving and staying on the show and being a part of season 15 if they had one. So let me see if I can find that. You know what I mean? I'm like, how do you even feel threatened by me? You know what I mean? I don't know how to fight. I don't know. No, well, I don't. You talk the good game. You talk the good you know, game. You know, you know what I was doing? What? Have you ever seen like some guys like you go to prison and you're like, okay, what do I need to know? And you're like, okay, look tough. <laughs> Who hey, doing guys? That was a commercial. Okay. So I'm still trying to Oh hey, it went on. Right Wait, this fun. is not what we Willie, want. Happy... Hold on, I don't know how that did that. Man, oh come on. Alive. But anyway, she basically was saying that because of the situation with her taking Drew's pocketbook and taking it uh, in there for Sheree to do whatever she wanted to do with it, that pretty much, that didn't look good either. And Candy was kind of sad, and I was kind of sad because I was getting used to it. Hell, I, I was like, shit, uh, what's going to happen is Sheree going to lose her, her position. 
But, honey, we got to do another story on Sheree trying to be messing with Martell. So, she was uh, legitly at that place when, I think it was Tisa Tales was telling us about it. And I think M Kempire was doing it as well. They had got a video from another, I guess, a small blogger. And it just happened to be in the area where Sheree was at with uh, Martell. And I was like, girl, you go from bad to worse to worse to bad. Oh, it's just too much. But that's your life. You old enough to know better. And if you just want to keep getting getting with these men that mean you no good, just so go have, honey. Go have at it. But let me try to find that other piece. Okay, this is the part. She want to run to her room and lock herself in and then call security on me as if I'm the one. <laughs> yes, she did that every time, every single time. So I'm like, I'm not the criminal here, dude. You know, like back off. So I was upset. She goes and lock herself in a room and then Sheree and everybody else, you know, of course I wanted to follow her and talk to her. Like, why, why would you do this? But then again, I've never attacked anybody. I was never going to attack her physically, but they held me back. So Sheree and everybody else is like, come down, come down, come down. Let me come down. So I sit down. As I sit down when I'm doing this, I see her purse. She ran so fast that she even left her purse at the chair. So I'm like, mm, let me see what else is in that bag. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm thinking to myself, let me go grab the bag and see what else she got in there. What other goodies does she have in there? Mm -hmm. So I ran and I grab it and I run to Sheree's room. So I go to Sheree's, I, me and Sheree go, I mean, sure, I think Sheree was already in her room. I go in there, I'm like, I got her back, I got her back. And I put it in the, I put it in the bed and, of course, I was rushing and then her, you know, it fell yeah, to the, to yeah, the ground yeah. or whatever. And then next thing you know, she heard somebody say she grabbed the bag. And then, oh my God, she has my IDs in there and she got my bag and oh my goodness. She She's like, my... then you're trying to steal her ID. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously? And then the next thing you know, everybody like break into the room like, where's the bag? Where's the bag? I'm like, right there? And they grab the bag and you should not have touched the bag. That's just wrong to touch your bag. So it's wrong for me to touch the bag, but it's right for her to throw dog food at me. What is this dog thing you got going on? What? Like, y'all you, got your rules, like, fucked up. But they could have been like, ah, oh, I don't know. Maybe we're not going to film that. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So you like that, but you don't like that I took her back to Sheree's room? Would actually would have been hilarious to let her wander around looking for her back. I don't know. That's more entertaining to me than, than you know, like throwing yeah. up. <laughs> Next thing you know, everything is shut down. So, you know, I'm like, oh, you should not have touched her back. You know, I'm like, listen, I didn't do anything with the back. You know, I actually was going for a joke. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, like, don't attack me because I touched her back. But you didn't, you didn't say nothing to her when she did that. Anyway, that was that. We were, uh, we were blocked. From leaving, but you guys got to leave before. Oh, I got out of there. <laughs> so what happened was we ended up, we all had to leave. Yeah. Or whatever. It was a lot of stuff that was going on behind the scenes, I guess, that we can't really discuss right now. But they didn't have all the cars there for us. So even though they were saying everybody had to go, everybody didn't have a way to leave. So I was like, as soon as she said we was we was gone, I was like, oh hell no! Nah. I ran to get my bag, threw my stuff in my bag, 
and I was out because I was like, I want to be the first car up out of there. I did not want to get yeah. blocked in because the way they had it set up in that driveway, you couldn't just like leave. No, um, one of the cars got mud stuck or got, something. Got stuck in the so it was like car. only one car could come down at a time. I was like, oh yeah, I'm out. That was the end of that. Wait, so so we were there for a while. We were there for several hours. So you the whole time, were not me. No, not you. <laughs> but the, but so what I'm saying is we were stuck even with Drew and all of that. But Drew was in her car. Mm -hmm. with a lady that was driving her so at some point I'm sitting there so Drew disappears so I'm leaving she I'm thinking that like she left right at that point I'm like let me go walk and see what is going on over there so I walk around along all the cars and then I see her in the car she had her windows down she was sitting on the passenger uh, side so I walk by and then I go look at the car that was you know um, in the mud or whatever and then when i came back she's looking at me i'm coming back to a direction she was probably nervous i was gonna like attack her or something <laughs> so i went by at her and then as soon as i got to her window i was like whoa <laughs> <laughs> you did that. i swear to god it was hilarious if she could like go over the other window she would have she was just like <laughs> she joked I personal with her you mm -hmm. know what I mean but people need to understand it's just you know when you bring eight women together something's gonna pop you yeah, know what definitely. I mean Some, something's gonna pop but I don't have hard feelings for her but all I know is after that I stopped being invited to come back and then I'm like what's going on and then I was just told well she complained all the way to the top and said she didn't feel safe around me she did she felt threatened and and i also tried to i touch her belongings which is her purse i'm not gonna tape if she comes around that's allegedly mm, allegedly, allegedly allegedly i cannot tape around her so well damn that's we what was we just getting to know you for two i know I fucked up. What can I say? So, I'm well, stuck with the one peach I have, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you no are more like... peaches with the me. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to share with the people? Um, nothing. I mean, outside of that, things are going very well. I have a lot of people. But y'all, that's what it was. So you heard her from her own mouth that Drew complained to somebody real high up. And they didn't, you know, Drew was saying that, ooh, she's scared of Fatoon. I mean, little Fatoon, you see how short that lady is? She kind of short like um, Tamika Cotel Harris, T.I.'s wife. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was like, Drew, really, Drew? You got all that mouth. All that stage presence, like you playing a little gangster girl and all that. Like you down to, you know, to be with them hands. But you running from her and she said boo or something. You going to jump. Like you going to jump out your skin or out the car. And then you going to be calling her a, a itch, 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 itch. Then you going to be like, you know, made a phone call and maybe saw the head person of uh, production or whatever I'm saying you're not gonna film if she around because you don't feel safe I'm like you the one that was being the aggressor towards her but see see how um Hollywood is so fickle and I'm like Drew uh it's not like she's a Kenya or even hella Marlo or a Nene you know what I'm saying people that gonna take it for what it's worth but they ain't gonna cross that line now see for tune cross that line when you start taking taking people's personal stuff and you and they don't have no knowledge that you have their stuff see that, that that's not good now see you could have took her purse uh to security and say you know she left her purse i didn't want anybody to mistake it for theirs or you know something goes wrong or missing and then you could have did it like that but you took it as a joke and went to Sheree room and they found the, you know, and they finally came in there looking for her purse. You know, that just wasn't a good look. Wasn't a good look for two. But you live and you learn and you have your own business anyway. You're in the real estate. And hey, um, 
you know, you had your one solo chance to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I mean, I liked it, you. You were funny. You were a hoop. But, you know, when you got people that really don't like you, they're going to look for uh, anything. Cause in, and you already had told us that you didn't have a man right now in your life, and that's what Real Housewives of Atlanta is looking for, that you already are partnered up with somebody, and it's looking that y'all going to clinch things to become, you know, maybe a... Uh, married or something uh because from what Fatum said they had actually um what do you call it had tried to interview her or did interview her uh maybe a couple of seasons ago and um you know she's had a man but he didn't want his privacy uh invaded like how real housewives of atlanta can do you know because they be trying a word for youtube bloggers we call it doxing it's that's when you go and look up everything uh private on a person that is uh you know common knowledge meaning it's not being withheld for any reason anybody can you know if it's public record uh like say you buy a house out there and somebody want to go and see you know how much your house is worth and where it is and who's on the you know lease or whatever so if it's not like a closed record type of uh registration in the court system then everybody can pull anything on you and see where you work what you're working where you're working now and all that stuff but it really wasn't necessary for for tune to mess with the girl pocketbook especially when she knew that drew didn't, drew didn't care anything about her so but we don't now drew's not about that life she's all talk uh and <laughs> that's really what it was <laughs> but she is funny with her little short self but we won't be seeing for tune no more because of drew and her antics of trying to act like she's about that life when we know for certain she's not okay but that's all I have for this particular video. I just wanted to say Drew got rid of somebody new that came on the show. Now Drew knows she ain't about that life. We can't be fooling around with Drew. We feeling sorry for Drew. Now you gonna get rid of somebody that was bringing a little bit more entertainment than what you had to bring. I mean that that was weak. Dog bones, honey. Mm, you should have bought the leash and said, let me just put this around your neck so I can walk you. You know, something like spontaneous, something pop like that. But bringing a damn dog bone and trying to throw it at her. <laughs> po Drew, Po Drew. But that's all I have for this particular video, guys. Um, thank you for coming by. And remember to subscribe, like, and share all of my videos. Even the ones that is on uh, the other channel. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense. But um, I am going to try to link all channels for it. my two channels and my daughter channel and the one we do together. Because I know some people are having difficulties. I just didn't have a lot of time, y'all. See, like every time I do a couple of videos, it's like 12 o'clock, you know. And it's past my bedtime. I try to be in, there, in that bed at least by 11. But, uh, you know, it just is what it is. I'll get better as time you know goes ahead and we'll make it do what it do but other than that y'all have a great night great morning great afternoon whenever you're assessing this video and i will see you on the next one bye bye